Nails in the Fence A Story About Anger Once upon a time, in a quaint little village, there lived a boy named Jake. He was like any other boy, with a bright smile and an adventurous spirit. However, Jake had a significant flaw. He struggled to control his anger. He often lashed out at his friends, family, and even his beloved pet dog, Max. While his heart was in the right place, his anger would often cloud his judgment, leading him to say and do things he would later regret. One sunny afternoon, after a particularly frustrating day at school, Jake stormed home. He was upset over a misunderstanding with his best friend, Tom. In a fit of rage, he kicked a small stone, sending it flying into a fence at the edge of his yard. As the stone struck the fence, he remembered a lesson his grandfather had once taught him. Every time you lose your temper, it's like driving a nail into that fence. His grandfather had said, using the fence as a metaphor for the damage anger can cause. Intrigued yet skeptical, Jake went to the shed and found a box of nails. He marched back to the fence, determined to take his grandfather's advice to heart. One by one, he hammered nails into the wooden planks, feeling a strange mix of satisfaction and frustration with each strike. As he completed his task, he stepped back to observe his work. The fence was now littered with shiny nails, a stark reminder of his anger and impulsiveness. As days passed, Jake began to reflect on the nails in the fence. Each nail represented a moment of anger, the harsh words he said to Tom, the time he yelled at Max for chewing on his shoes, and the outbursts that left his family hurt and confused. He realized that while he could hammer in the nails, he couldn't take them out. They left permanent scars, just as his anger had left emotional wounds on those he loved. Feeling the weight of his actions, Jake sought to change. He approached Tom and apologized for his outburst, explaining how anger had taken control of him. To his surprise, Tom forgave him and even offered to help him find ways to manage his anger. The two friends began to talk about their feelings openly, sharing not only their frustrations but also their dreams and aspirations. Determined to do better, Jake also started practicing breathing exercises whenever he felt anger bubbling up. He learned to count to ten before responding, allowing himself time to cool down and think clearly. Each time he felt the urge to lash out, he remembered the nails in the fence, prompting him to pause and reflect on how he wanted to respond. Weeks turned into months, and Jake's efforts began to pay off. His relationships improved, and the nails in the fence became less of a burden. However, he still felt the urge to confront the visual reminder of his past anger. One day, he decided to approach the fence once more. With determination in his heart, he removed each nail he had driven in, reflecting on the lessons learned with everyone he took out. As he pulled out the last nail, Jake noticed something incredible. The holes left behind in the wood were a reminder of his past mistakes, but they also symbolized growth and resilience. He understood that while anger might leave marks, it was how he chose to respond to those feelings that mattered most. From that day forward, Jake transformed not only his relationship with anger, but also with himself. He became an advocate for emotional awareness in his village, teaching others about the importance of managing feelings and resolving conflicts peacefully. His story spread, inspiring others to reflect on their own emotional journeys and learn how to navigate their feelings. Jake's tale serves as a powerful reminder that while anger is a natural emotion, it's essential to handle it with care. The nails in the fence are not just a symbol of past mistakes, but also of the potential for growth and healing. With every challenge faced and every lesson learned, we can choose to build stronger fences. Fences made of understanding, compassion, and resilience. And so, in that quaint village, a boy once ruled by anger became a beacon of hope, proving that while we may drive nails into our fences, we also have the power to pull them out and make amends. As Jake would say, it's not the nails that define us, 
but how we choose to mend the fences of our hearts.